Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and there's one more week until Doctor Who gets here. Congratulations to anyone that's made it to the world tour so far. They're actually headed to New York next. I live in Los Angeles, so I will not be able to get arrested trying to tackle Peter Capaldi with hugs. But if any of you want to try, just send me pictures before you get arrested. They just released a proper trailer for Episode 1, Deep Breath, so this video is going to be a breakdown of the new things in that. And we've also learned the titles from all the regular episodes. There are 12. The 13th is a Christmas special, but we don't know anything about that yet. If you're just finding me for the first time, I do weekly Doctor Who videos. I even do a weekly Doctor Who giveaway. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. So let's take a deep breath and get started. A lot of this is all familiar footage, and because it jumps around in the episode, I'm just going to reorganize things a little bit as I talk about them, just so it's a little more linear. So here we go. Starting with the dinosaurs in London. I know some of you weren't really taken with dinosaurs on a spaceship, but as much as the T-Rex is comedy, its sheer size makes you think less of Trike and more of Jurassic Park. Fun fact though, in the comics, Gallifrey, Scarrow, and Mondas all had their own breeds of dinosaur. The Gallifreyan ones were called Gigantosaurs, the Scarrow ones were just Triceratops with one big horn, and the Mondas ones were pretty much like Earth dinosaurs since Mondas is Earth's twin planet. The Mondas even converted some of their dinosaurs to ride his mouths. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but robot dinosaurs sounds pretty cool in my head. I don't think that this dinosaur is connected to any of the big villains this season, I think it's just there to introduce Capaldi with some flair. But the Doctor does speak dinosaur, and I'm not talking about Silurian. He can speak to big dinosaurs like the T-Rex. I don't know if they'll actually show this in the episode, it's just a funny fact. So here's the Doctor out of Matt Smith's costume, but not yet in his new one. This episode's the transition from Smith to Capaldi, so naturally he has to get into his new outfit through the course of the episode. In the promo pics we've seen in the other trailer footage, he's wearing a couple different outfits. There's the Victorian outfit, there's the kind of homeless person shabby looking outfit. They're all different from what the final costume is going to be. This is the official costume. Presumably he'll be in it by the end of the first episode. Smith changed his appearance a few times during the Christmas special, so the Doctor has had a few episodes where he has several different outfits in the same episode. There's a really interesting meta thing going on with the outfits between Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi. You have the anachronistic Matt Smith costume, young man in very old-timey clothes that are Victorian, and now here we're back in Victorian times when those clothes would be completely normal cut to old man appropriately dressed in old man's Victorian clothes. Obviously Capaldi's final outfit isn't Victorian, but the outfits that he wears in this episode are largely Victorian just because they're hand-me-downs from the time. All the interview quotes that I've been seeing from the world tour have been about how no-nonsense Capaldi's gonna be. Most of the interviews sound like they're meant for people who have never seen Doctor Who because I feel like anyone who watched the 50th anniversary and saw the clip of his eyes knew exactly what kind of personality he was gonna have. You can let me know if you agree, but whenever I saw his eyes for the first time, I just thought he was going to be like the badass doctor. This montage sets up the action of the episode, them dealing with the dinosaur, the mysterious robot man, and the fact that the doctor is still delirious from regeneration. If he had trouble understanding Peter Capaldi through his Scottish accent, especially when he's speaking very fast, he says, The question is, have there been any similar murders? There was a rumor early on in production that Jack the Ripper was going to be involved in the episode. I don't think that's the case. I think that they're just talking about the robot man in this next scene. Foster said she actually killed and ate Jack the Ripper during Good Man Goes to War. That was Series 6, Episode 7, so I'm pretty sure that it's not him that made that big explosion. And I do like that Foster implies that no matter how addled the Doctor's mind is from regeneration, he automatically hones in on trouble like a bloodhound. So then it actually looks like we're going to get another badass Vostra and Jenny battle. There was a really good one during Crimson Horde. That was Series 7, Episode 12. They had a really nice fight. And then we get the really big payoff scene. I love that they gave Clara the Doctor's line, You've Redecorated. Most people probably remember this from the 50th anniversary last year, but the second Doctor originated it. The first time he said it was during the Three Doctors special when he saw the third Doctor's TARDIS, and then again in the Five Doctors special inside the unit headquarters to Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart. Then Matt Smith said it to Craig whenever he saw his house in Closing Time, Series 6, Episode 12. And then most recently, David Tennant when he saw Matt Smith's TARDIS in the 50th anniversary. I think Clara's mostly referencing the bookshelves because the TARDIS structure is essentially the same. Stephen Moffat just kind of redecorated a little bit for Capaldi. I think that Matt Smith did have bookshelves and paintings at one point inside the control room before he met Clara, but after he redesigned his TARDIS. There were also bookshelves inside the 7th Doctor's TARDIS, which was actually more Victorian looking, so I suppose you consider that a bit of an easter egg since we are in Victorian times in this episode. I guess we'll find out eventually if the bookshelves are going to stick, but the footage in the trailer that we saw, the first couple promos, were from the first couple of episodes, so it's possible. I can't wait to get the full on look inside, so we'll see what else has changed. I think that Capaldi's final smile here is just him acknowledging the humor of her taking what should be his line. 
And so now here are the titles of each of the 12 episodes during the main series. Okay, so remember, Deep Breath officially premieres on television Saturday the 23rd. I think if you're watching it on BBC One, it's 7 or 8 p.m. GMT, but if you do have access to BBC America, they're also premiering John Sims' new series, Intruders, right after Doctor Who. It's going to be like Orphan Black Season 1 last year, where they aired Doctor Who first, and then Intruders right after for the entire season. I'm not planning on doing any videos for Intruders, but I will be watching it, so you guys should check it out. This week, because the official Doctor Who team made a very special request that I do a classic Who video, I'll be posting one for episodes that you should check out before Series 8 premieres. It's okay, even if you've never watched Classic Who or the new series, Episode 1 of Series 8 is designed to explain all the basics anyway, so do not feel weird about jumping on if you're totally new to the show. And I'll of course be doing a ton of bonus videos. What it's going to be is I'll be doing a bonus video before episodes premiere, then I'll do my regular episode video where I'll do giveaways, and then I'll do my Q&A video after the episode. The giveaways will always start in the episode review, just like I did for Game of Thrones, and I'll name winners in the Q&As. I am posting a Q&A for this video tonight, so if you do want to enter the giveaway, just make sure that you're a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. There will only be one winner per week, but sometimes I do double the giveaway, so I might randomly just pick two people to win. Right now, you can click here to get that Q&A video. I'll add the annotation as soon as I post it, and click here to learn all about Peter Capaldi coming back in Series 9. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.